Questions and answers on the Samaritan excerpt 17 Montano, tell me, Alvita, what can we do as a society to ensure you have a good future? Right now, it seems extremely bleak. I shudder to think about it. Alvita, how do you know my future is extremely bleak? Montano, well, yesterday, I was seated under the tree behind the classroom, thinking. Alvita, and then? Montano, I traveled into the future about 50 years from now. And guess what? I saw you working at a corner in a city as a cobbler. You looked severely battered and your nose was permanently running, if I remember well. Alvita, me a cobbler? Was it a nightmare that you had or a hallucination? Montano, no, it is called traveling into the future. You close your eyes and try to figure out how your future will look like, given past and current trends. You can also travel into the past. One times I traveled into the past until I was back in my mother's womb. And I sat there mesmerized. Demonstrating, folding his legs and arms in a fetal position, it was very in there. Alvita, oh, what a strange thing to do. But a cobbler, you said? Montano, you were actually fortunate to have a source of income, as a cobbler. Millions of young people were loitering aimlessly in the streets and villages without gainful employment. All of them were poor, hungry, and angry. Alvita, you are rarely serious, Montano. You mean with all my education I couldn't get a good job? Montano, you see Alvita. Our county has been and is producing more graduates each year than the number of jobs it is able to create. At this rate, what do you think will be the situation over a period of 50 years? Pauses, then continues, I was in no better position, Alvita. I was earning my livelihood as a panist with a not-so-popular steel band at that time. But joblessness was not even my main concern. Alvita, what was your main concern? Montano, the way your nose was running, as though you had a drum of fluids in the middle of your head. I frankly didn't think you would see another day. Alvita, holding her nose, and why on earth was my nose running like that? This is unusual. Montano, I think it was because of the awful smell in the city that time, all cities had a bad stench because cleaning water was very scarce. Alvita, why was there no water? Montano, climate change had occasioned unpredictable weather patterns, and it was hardly raining anymore. It was raining once in a year, at most for only 10 minutes. Alvita, the new climate could hardly support plant or animal life. Alvita, you mean animals and plants had died. Montano, most of them. In fact, people had no choice but to adapt to eating strange things like insects, crawling creatures, rodents, and sea creatures that could survive the harsh climate. But all these were in very short supply, too. So, most people had adapted to eating plastics, synthetic fibers and other bizarre things I couldn't make out. I saw you chewing a gunny bag at one point. It appears you can eat anything Alvita. Questions and answers on the Samaritan excerpt 17a explain what happens immediately before this extract. 3 MKS Before this excerpt, 
Nicole acknowledges the presence of the guests and says that she is humbled to introduce an innovation that has captured the imagination of their municipality. She says she will present the innovation through a short skit performed by Alvita, Montano, and herself. 3 MKS B. Tell me Alvita, what can we do as a society to ensure you have a good future? Right now, it seems extremely bleak. I shudder to think about it. Explain why Montana claims Alvita's future seems extremely bleak. 3 MKS Despite her education, Mortino still sees her working as a cobbler, battered by life and has a continuously running nose. See joblessness was not Montana's main concern. What is his main concern? 2 MKS The way Alvita's nose was running as though she had a drum of fluids in the middle of her head. Montana doesn't think she will see another day. De-identify and illustrate any two themes evident in this excerpt. 4 MKS I. Poverty and joblessness Despite her education, Alvita is working as a cobbler and battered by life she is lucky for this job because many young people were loitering aimlessly in the streets and villagers without gainful employment. 2. Climatic changes and environmental degradation Unpredictable weather patterns have occasioned. It hardly rains. Lack of rains has led to water scarcity in the municipality hence the awful smell and diseases. Climatic changes have resulted to hard climatic conditions hence desperation. People adapt to eating plastics, synthetic fiber, and other bizarre things. The new climatic conditions can hardly support plant and animal life. He explained two aspects of style inherent in the excerpt. 6 MKS I. Fantasy and Hyperbole, Exaggeration Montana and Alvita can travel into the future and see how life turns out be about the current state of affairs in the municipality. It's exaggerated how people result to eating plastics and synthetic fiber. 2. Simile Alvita nose was running as though she had a drum of fluids in the middle of the head. 3. Play within a play The extract is part of the skit by Nicole Alvita and Montano in an attempt to present the current state of the municipality. F. We write the following in reported speech. Alvita, how do you know my future is extremely bleak? 2 MKS Alvita asked Montano how he knew her future was extremely bleak. Gee what happens immediately after this excerpt? 2 MKS Montano explains how life expectancy had drastically dropped. He explains that presently people live up to 80 years or even more but in the future people were only able to live up to 30 and 40 years at most. H you are rarely serious, Montano. Add a question tag, 1 MK. You are rarely serious, are you? I explain the meaning of the following words and phrasal verb. 3 MKS. I I, bleak miserable 2, mesmerized fascinated 2, figure out imagine read the excerpts and answer the questions that follow. Answers are given after the excerpts. Questions and answers on the Samaritan excerpt.